Hi, in this video I want to show you a lot of fun things that we can do with these tables or spreadsheets in Frog. Uh, the first thing we'll do is we'll run this, uh, so here what you see on the screen is four students and sometimes they'll all be in the same um, activity and sometimes they'll be doing something individually or in groups. In this case they're all together and we're going to run a little WISE simulation. This is a project from Berkeley. And here we can specify the cup material, the liquid temperature, and the air temperature, and we can see what happens, uh, how quickly the liquid cools. So when we start running, we see here that it's live streaming the temperature readings into this table, which is shared among the four students. Uh, if I now, for example, say, well, how does it look with wood? And I run it again, um, we see here that the temperature um, goes down more slowly. So this is a nice way, a nice thing that you can do with a spreadsheet and it's similar to what you would usually uh, do in Excel and so on. Uh, but here are some more uh, untraditional approaches and they're based on this concept of learning items which are these small pieces of content that can be passed around in Frog. So we're going to start with uh, an activity that lets uh, students read a foreign language text and quickly highlight the words that they don't understand. Now, in this case, as you see, this is an individual activity, so each student um, highlights the words that they don't know. Uh, at the same time, the teacher can be monitoring this on a dashboard. But what we want to do in this case is to take the words selected by the students and we'll send them uh, to a spreadsheet. So here's the five words that um, were selected by any of the students and now we can try to provide some definitions. So I think this means uh, new, this means Chinese afterwards maybe, Republic. But here's another student who thinks this means China, uh, this means uh, country maybe, this means uh, some soon, and Here's one who doesn't know any words except this one, which he thinks means new. So we have a few different definitions. And in the next activity, we'll take all the definitions from the different students and bring them together in one sheet. So here we see, for example, for China, Peter defined it as uh, so Kitaiskaya. Peter defined it as China, Chen Li is Chinese, uh, and so on. So this is a, a neat way of having people work individually and then quickly see the different. Now in this case um, we're looking at um, foreign language words and, and vocabulary but we could put anything in this list of items so let's try to put something quite different. So what we have here is actually some tweets about uh, well they're, they're all tagged by MOOC and we might and you see that each student gets different tweets so we what we did is we um, pulled in a bunch of different tweets and we distributed them to each student and what we could do is we could ask each student to comment on what they think is interesting um, Now the CSS here looks a little bit bad, but that's partly because I have four windows open on the screen. So now what happens is that we get, um, again, the CSS looks a bit bad, but we have this tweet and we have the comment from Anna. Uh, here's a comment from Peter and here's a comment from Alia. Um, so this was you know, a quick way of actually having some rich content gotten from the internet and having students select which one they want to comment on and, and seeing those all together. But we could also um, agree on which items we want to work on. So let's say that we pull in a number of um, annotations from Hypothesis and we ask students to vote on the ones they find most interesting. So this is a whole class activity, so it's uh, live updating. And so after the students have um, voted on a few issues. We can go to the next and these are now this is now a group activity where each group um, will provide feedback on 
the same items. You see here that all four students have the same items, but once I start editing, we see here that in this case, Anna and uh, Chen Li are in a group, so they um, have collaborative writing. Anna can uh, join the writing here. And these guys uh, are in a, another group, so I'm just going to quickly add some Now, once I go to the next one, we see here that for each item, we see the comments from group one and the comments from group two. And I'm, I'm sure you can think of uh, many other ways in which we could use uh, this approach. But um, to me, it was really fun how we started implementing this spreadsheet actually in order to do uh, things like what I showed you initially, taking data from simulations or uh, even playing with uh, statistics and then I had the idea of adding um, a way of uh, sending these uh, uh, vocabulary items into, into tables and how we could maybe have students work on them and combine them. And then I realized that uh, having implemented that, I could actually uh, use it for all kinds of other things as well. And that's really fun when, when you build something um, that's so kind of um, reusable or generalizable that it opens a lot of different possibilities. Um, thank you.